What's poppin' Meta Gang? How's it going? I'm your host with the most. It's Mark with Meta Gifts LLC, here to raise the collective vibration and share information. Light work, you know the vibes. Let's get it. We have a really cool video today. Words of affirmation. Sounds like a bunch of crap, doesn't it? It's not. That's why I'm taking the time to make this video. It's dope. Okay, words of affirmation are one of your biggest tools as a spiritual being having a human experience right now. Let's get it. All right, I'm hype as fuck right now. The apple cider vinegar is burning through my body. I'm on fire. I feel so good. And I just wanna share this energy with you guys because this is something that I do every single day, no matter what. And this has changed my life in ways that you can't even compare to other things. So, okay, here we go. Let's get it. Welcome to my car. Thanks for coming. All right. So, Ralph Waldo Emerson says, a man or a woman, doesn't matter, is what he spends all day thinking about. Think about that. Basically, what that means is your thoughts are going to determine your reality. And that is so real. I feel like even in Star Wars, someone said like, yeah, Anakin, your thoughts are going to determine re your reality. Real stuff. Yeah. Also, Gary Chapman, in his book, The Five Languages of Love, lists words of affirmation as the number one way to show love to a person. So if you aren't using that tool to show love to yourself, the most important person in your life, what are you doing? Use your resources, bro. Wow. Okay. So... Let's go a little bit deeper. So why are words of affirmation so important? The thoughts that you think become the words that you speak. The words that you speak become the emotions that you feel. The emotions you feel become the behaviors you engage in. The behaviors you engage in become the habits you use. The habits you use Build your entire life. You're a reflection of your habits and your patterns and the routines that you engage in. If you look at a successful person by your definition of success and you look at yourself or someone who isn't successful, you can always identify there are different habits. And those habits are your building blocks to where you want to get to. You are the exact person you are because of the habits you engage in and the beliefs you hold and the things you think about, the things you say, and the person you are and how you feel. The only difference between you and Bill Gates or Elon Musk or Jeff Bezos is one, limiting beliefs, habits, and they're doing the thing. You could just do it. Anything you say that contradicts me telling you that is a limiting belief. You are no different than any other person on this planet. We have slight physical differences and we aren't exactly the same right up the jump, but I feel like you understand what I'm saying. Abracadabra, from the Aramaic Avracadabra, which means I create as I speak. In other words, speaking something into existence. If you see a person or you see your goals or you see something outside of you that you want, please understand there is nothing stopping you from getting it besides yourself. So... What you should do is take a second to reflect. Go inside. That's the whole point of meditation. You don't meditate with anything on your mind. You meditate to get clairvoyance and to understand your own state of being. So you need to look at your own state of being. Look at the thoughts that fly by your head. A lot of times your thoughts aren't even your own thoughts. So keep that in mind as well. A lot of times we accept thoughts and judgments from other people. We're all connected on this planet. So we actually do pick up thoughts from other people regardless if they speak them out with their words. If I accepted every thought somebody gave me, every limiting belief about myself, I would not be where I am. I spend time learning about myself and knowing myself and I know who I am and I know who I want to be. So I think thoughts and I think, I think thoughts and I feel feelings that are aligned with the person I want to be and I take aligned action with all of that and then I'm living the life I want. It's amazing. You can do the same exact thing. You just got to use your resources. It's simple. It's so simple. Life is so simple. If I had a dollar for every time somebody threw a limiting belief at me or told me I couldn't do something, and then I had 
all the money I made doing what I wanted to do and doing what I knew I could do, I would have, I do have more money. I have so much more money. I don't care about what people think I can't do because I know what I can do. I've made tons of money doing things that people didn't think I could do. I'm proud of myself and my validation is the only validation I need. It's crazy. Somebody called me clueless today and I thought that was hilarious because I take so much time and so much effort and energy into the words I speak to make sure that they are actually my truth. And I realized once they called me clueless, this has nothing to do with me and everything about the person. To go back a step, once you spend more time with yourself and your own state of being, you will be able to identify, first off, the negative and limiting thoughts that come from other people, and then you'll be able to find the limiting and negative thoughts that come from inside yourself. And cognitive dissonance, this is a disconnect in the person that you are and the person you think of yourself to be, the ego. And this is work that you need to do where you need to realign your ideas and your emotions so that you can actually get the things you want. You're the only one who's going to stop you from getting the things you want. You may think other people are stopping you, but you are letting them stop you. That is a real key to your freedom. Keep that in mind. You're going to get free. We're all free spirits, but we hold ourselves back. So think about that. It is not enough just to use positive words of affirmation and then forgetting the rest of what creates our experience. Let's say that you're single and you're lonely and you want romantic love. I feel like most people do in one way, shape, or form. We might tell ourselves we don't because we're so tired of going after it and getting disappointed and getting hurt that we just think it's easier to be by ourselves and isolate ourselves. But you came from two people, so you probably need another person eventually. So like, besides the point, okay. Let's say you told yourself, I can't find someone out there. There's no one out there for me. I'm not worthy of healthy love. I can't get this. All limiting ideas that you probably spoke and created and your emotions align with that. And now your actions will align with it. And then you are going to engage in habits where like you might stay home on a Friday or Saturday night or you might not put yourself out there. and You might not go after the thing you actually really want because you feel safer and you feel more comfortable being the victim of your circumstance and not accepting yourself for who you are and going after what you want. It's easier. It's safer. You don't have to be proven wrong by doing that. You're proving yourself right time and time and time again. Stop that shit. Stop it. I love you. Stop that shit. All right. So now that you've identified this hypothetical example of a limiting belief or thought pattern, you replace it. Like, I am worthy of healthy love. I deserve love. I love myself and have enough love for other people. This is great. Those are great ideas. But the problem with words of affirmation comes whenever you throw the idea out and you do not align it with emotion. Basically, it's a thought form that fizzles off because you are not giving it the frequency to hold it up and to bring that into your experience. So, a lot of times when we look at where we are and we look at where we want to be, there is so much distance that we create nothing but doubt and fear in between. So, dial it back a notch so you can believe and feel and trust that what you are thinking and what you are speaking is so real. Your feelings are a great indication of your state of being and they are going to lead you where you need to be. So when you think these positive thoughts, feel as positive as you can, feel as loving and feel as glad and grateful and inspired and empowered all of these positive vibrations, you need to break the negative cycle. You need to break past the fear and the shame and the isolation and the loathing and the resentment. If you can rise above, you can get your limiting belief out of your way and get the positive one off the ground. And then you will start noticing that your actions 
in your experience is aligning with the person you are speaking into existence. And that's amazing. You're creating your own life. You've been creating your own life your whole entire life. Don't get lost in my words. You have so much responsibility and you lose power when you give your responsibility away. Don't ever forget that. It's so important when using words of affirmation to use them as often as possible. And you need to understand and expect resistance. When you hang around your circle and your group of people and your people that influence you, you become like them. And once you start trying to change yourself, you're going to encounter resistance from the people around you and the things around you and your patterns and your habits. And the universe is going to check you and say, is this really what you want? And when that happens, you cannot fall back. Let's go back to our example. Now that I've thought and felt that I'm worthy of healthy love and I go out and try to find it, the first person that ghosts me or flakes on me, I cannot use that as confirmation that I was right the whole time and that I can't go out and get healthy love. You need to identify that you still deserve it and whatever you just tried to get wasn't what you wanted and that's why it didn't work. So keep going. You know what you want and stop at nothing to get it. When you expect resistance, you can use your words of affirmation again with more frequency and more strength and more power and you'll accept nothing but what you want. You will create the life you want at all costs because you know your value. When you affirm your own value to yourself, you stop accepting things that you are not worth. You understand what you are worthy of and you believe in yourself and you experience the beliefs that you are holding. And for that, I'm fucking proud of you. You're amazing. Good job. If you guys enjoyed this video, you learned something, please leave me a like, share my video, show me some love. I don't really care about the logistics and the stats. I just want my message to get out. That's the whole reason I'm making these videos. I don't care if you don't like the message. I don't care if you don't like the video. I just care that the message is delivered and received and somebody is able to take it and make their life a little bit more positive because of it. So if I did that, please let me know. I really appreciate you guys taking the time to watch this video. Get the Medigift shirts in the store. Falls around the corner. We got the Equinox coming up real soon. So you know what that means. There are more hoodies. There are more shirts. So many more clothes on the way. Probably by the time you all watch this video, check out the link in the description and you're going to see so many things, any color you can imagine on our visible light spectrum. Let's get it. Alrighty. Thank you so much, guys. I love you so much.